What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we're getting back to the road, back to the adventure and we're gonna take you with us. We're gonna travel to the mountain town of Bushten, which is supposedly one of the top rated mountain resorts in Romania. We're gonna check that out and we're gonna take you with us. So let's go guys. have arrived at the train station we're gonna wait for our train uh, we still got half an hour until it leaves it is supposed to leave at least hopefully there will be no delays because we need to get there as soon as possible we were thinking maybe we might actually climb a mountain but we will see we will, we will decide as we go and once we get there we will um, make a decision and see if we climb or just hang around Bushhead. What a lovely day we've got! Really looking forward to it. We were just discussing the possibility of a hike. <laughs> we just remember that there is quite a big chance of uh, meeting some bears on the road if we do the climb. We'll see, we'll take that into consideration as well. guys and just look at that straight away it is breathtaking this is one of the top rated mountain resorts here in Romania and uh, we're gonna explore it around and obviously share it with you but it's so beautiful we've got a beautiful day uh, although the sun is out it is quite cold it is still in the morning it is uh, quarter to 11 in the morning so it is still quite cold but it's going to be about 15 degrees celsius the warmest today here in Bushten. but what we're planning to do is to get up there do you see that cross right there somewhere behind it we can get uh, there with a trail through the mountains it is quite challenging uh, the town of Bushten stays at an altitude of 875 meters and up there that is 2300 meters so it's a difference in elevation of one 1500 meters something like that which is almost one mile one british mile that, that is crazy uh, we're gonna go to the base of the trail right now and decide whether we're gonna take it or not because it is quite cold and we're still in the town of Bushin, but up there it's going to be even colder uh, we'll see this is supposedly a four hour hike we'll see how it goes and definitely let me know There are quite a few options to get up there guys you can either take the cabin up the hill or you can walk or there are guys with private cars that you can uh, hire pretty much and they will take you another route which is pretty much longer but uh, obviously the car has access to to a higher place but i think we might uh, actually do it by foot <laughs> We're still we're still thinking about it because we're looking at it. Look at that. That is such a climb. Right guys, so we've got our decision. We're gonna start the hike and we will see how it goes along. <laughs> if it is too hard, we will come back down. If it's not too hard and we can uh, we think we can do it, uh, then we're gonna go up and from there we're gonna uh, walk back down to Sinai, but I'm gonna explain that to you a bit later. Let's go up that way. And this is the beginning of the trail, guys. Uh, there is a blue cross on the trees that you have to follow for this trail. 
Uh, it also says that it's really, really dangerous. And uh, you should only do this if you believe you are in good physical condition and uh, pretty much in shape, because it's going to be pretty hard. We've got a lady in front of us that uh, she, she might have been uh, on this trail for quite a few times. But honestly, guys, I'm gonna try and focus on the trail and uh, I will film whenever we can. Let's go. Right guys, first try, <laughs> we got the wrong trail. <laughs> there are two trails, one going up um, to the cabin Karaiman, which is pretty much on the top where the, where the cross is as well. And the other one goes to Vala Sfumoasa Cascada, which is pretty much a waterfall uh, nearby. So it's only about 20 minutes away from here. Uh, but we want to get on the really long one up to the cabin. So we got <laughs> now we're gonna walk back probably about five minutes and then switch the roads. There you go guys, we just found the trail. You gotta follow the blue cross. Let's go. How is it so far? It's all right, right? <laughs> it is hard guys, you gotta be really, really careful. Maybe you can't see it on the camera, but there's a huge valley down there. And then again, when you advance on these parts right here, you've got uh, cables to hold from. My hair is going crazy, but <laughs> I had to leave it like that just because it's easier for me. But it is a hard trail, guys. You, you gotta be really careful because if you're not in shape, oh, <laughs> boy, it's hard. Um, I think we advanced like two kilometers in about one hour, uh, which is all right. It's not bad for a trail. We'll see how it goes a little, a little bit further because we understood it might be a bit harder. Um, at the, in some places there, there could be big valleys, bigger valleys than this one and narrower path. This one is still all right. Make sure you get some nice shoes and be ready to climb properly. Look at that guys, that is so beautiful. And we are yet to see the valley down there. Uh, so we have climbed for about an hour and a half. And uh, we just met some guys that were telling us that uh, we might actually have another three and a half hours to the cabin. But uh, time is not a problem for us now. It's just, we gotta take it slowly. Uh, make sure when you come, you don't rush. Hopefully I won't take copyright for, for this song. <laughs> Let's go, guys. You got to make some noise because of the bears, obviously. So make sure you make some noise, speak louder or play some music. Look at this, guys. Ready? Check that out. Down there, there's a portion, a side, where you, you can only advance if you hold off uh, some chains. So be really, really careful once you get up. It's quite high and it's quite hard. Uh, I'm gonna try and film it once we get uh, to the other part like that. Look at the way the water has carved into these mountains right here. That is so nice. And we're actually following the trail of this river. Well, right now it's pretty dry, but I believe during the rainy season, it gets pretty wet. Hey, look at that hair, crazy. <laughs> but again, guys, honestly, we underestimated how hard this trail actually is. But we're gonna keep on going. Slowly or surely, let's go. There you go guys, this right here is a portion uh, where you have chains to climb up. You can see it going right there. And by the way, that is the place where we are going. So we're gonna go along this side of the mountain and then we're gonna switch 
and go along the path right there and there should be the Karaman cabin but I wanted to show you this see it's a chain you just gotta hold to it pretty tight but that way what is not so great about that way is uh, is that you have a lot of valleys like this one and uh, you gotta be careful how you step but well, look at that beautiful view so nice it focuses right now for you guys with the blue sky and we're up guys no i'm only kidding <laughs> we've still got that much way to go but we have found this rock right here so we can sit on and look at that view behind us that's incredible breathtaking but it's really hard make sure you get gloves gloves are really really needed here because you're gonna hang on to cables to chains to rocks to dirt to roots to everything so make sure you get gloves Woo! look at that guys what an amazing view and that is the town of Bushten right there so we probably climbed I don't know 700 800 900 meters I don't know I don't even know we, we've only got about 100 meters left up to that rock right there Just amazing. What a lovely day. You gotta give it to it. And we made it, guys. Four and a half hours later, guys, we have arrived at Cabana Karaiman. What an incredible journey. Wow. They say the difficulty is hard. But I would say that is un an understatement, guys, honestly. That is an understatement. And we are quite, quite fit because we go to the gym, we run, we hike a lot. We walk tens of kilometers. But that was really, really hard, guys. Like the, the name, the difficulty level should be extreme or something like that. What do you think about it? Oh. <laughs> it was very hard. It was very, very hard. There's a cabin right there. This one's closed, but there's another one where the, uh, what's it called? The cabin, cabin, uh, cable, ca cable car, where the cable car goes that way. We're gonna go that way anyway. Um, that is open. Uh, you? There is a viewpoint here. Oh yeah, okay. We're gonna go to that edge right now. You can see crosses everywhere. To be honest with you, the trail itself is quite grim because you can see a lot of crosses of people that died on this trail, on this path. So make sure you are well prepared. Oh, but that was one thing that I missed, that we missed, were gloves. Honestly, take gloves. It's a must. You can have decent shoes like these ones and instead of boots, but make sure you take gloves because they're really, really important. <laughs> Let's get to that edge right there. Are you ready, guys? That right there is where we both started. started. That right there, four and a half hours ago, we started down there. a few crosses down here and there's another cross up there which is 23 meters tall that is huge <laughs> but look at that oh <laughs> I'm trying to share it with you guys but it's not that easy believe me the camera does not do any justice to the view Now we're getting back down guys. Hey, we, we actually still gotta climb. We gotta go up there 
and then on the other side of the mountain uh, because this is the Buchej plateau um, pretty much what we did we we climbed the, one of the hardest if not the hardest um, trail around here so we are like superheroes guys <laughs> yes we are the superheroes of Romania <laughs> <laughs> it took us four and a half hours to get from bottom up to here it was nice amazing views and I, I honestly I feel like the views on the trail itself were better <laughs> than the views from up top from uh, from here I forgot even English <laughs> I can't speak English anymore but yeah we're gonna go down now and we're gonna meet uh, my dad somewhere behind the mountain something like that in a place called Piatra Arso yeah <laughs> it's alright <laughs> we're gonna show it to you anyway guys let's go and by the way guys we are at an altitude of over 2000 meters there is no there are no trees around us well apart from some bushes and everything but over 2000 meters altitude I think it is like 2050 something like that that is incredible. Ben Nevis in Scotland is about 1,400 meters. Whew. And Bushten down there is at 875 meters. So we climbed over 1,000 meters. <laughs> we must be insane. <laughs> but now we've got experience and it was, it was really worth it. It was, it was such a nice trail, it was, come on. It was really nice, but really dangerous, guys. Everest, here we come. Here, uh, yeah, Everest. Here we come in the um, Himalayan, 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 Himalayan mountains. Let's go. Look at that. That is incredible. I don't think I personally have ever truly felt a breathtaking moment like we did today, right? It was, it was really nice, but there were some portions um, of the trail where if you would do something wrong, if you just slip from the chain, you'd fall for hundreds of meters. So you gotta be careful guys. Gloves, gloves are really important and don't sleep yeah <laughs> don't sleep if you know what I mean <laughs> but yeah we're still climbing actually we've got this hill and then behind that it should be all the way down up to the point where we meet our dad my dad sorry <laughs> not yours <laughs> that'd be weird <laughs> that, would, that would be weird <laughs> let's go guys <laughs> Bushten, Romania. <laughs> Incredible. Incredible. That right there is about 1,300 meters now. now. <laughs> so you can only imagine if you fall from here, guys, you've got a chance. And I was telling you guys, there is another option. You can drive your car somewhere around here and then you can walk this distance. You can see the cabin right there. Uh, that is not the Karaiman cabin, that is around the corner. Uh, that one right there is where the cable car goes and you can actually sleep there. There are people, it's, it's pretty much a hostel slash restaurant slash cafe <laughs> uh, and you can actually sleep there. There are quite a few people that do this. They do climb the, the same way we did and then they sleep there and then the second day they, they go down or they uh, find a car to, f uh, to come and pick them up from Piatra Arsa the point I was telling you about where you can drive your car up to 
and now my dad is gonna take us from there but really guys we are so proud of ourselves <laughs> because it was quite hard and we managed to finish it and this view right here is so incredible it's so worth it definitely come and check it out at least with the car or the cable car by the way the cable car is about 90 lay around 15 british pounds 15 one five um one way or you can get both ways for about 170 lay which is something like 30 pounds 20 26 28 something like that yeah so you can get the cable car but be careful in the high season and that is the summer the queues are <laughs> incredible you can wait for hours and hours for your turn to come to the uh, to, to get inside the cable car I was just checking the weather guys <laughs> and it actually says that up here there are four degrees Celsius and we can't actually feel it because of the Sun but uh, once we get <laughs> once we get to where the shade is is going to be colder but look at these guys <laughs> they're so beautiful aren't they oh look at that one the brown one and they smell so nice <laughs> That was an incredible hike. What an amazing journey. Oh. We definitely have to come back and do it from this side. There are quite a few things on this side that are interesting called Sphinx. You can see the Romanian Sphinx, by the way, not the Egyptian one only. Romanian one here in Bucej. But yeah, let's get out. guys this is where we actually started this is Bushten we started climbing and we came up to the uh, Karaiman cabin which is 2025 meters high and then we came this way up to this point and we came down to Piatra Ars uh, right here and my dad has picked us up right here nice right by the way, the highest point in this uh, this region is Omu Peak with that altitude right there. And I'm gonna do this for you guys. It's incredible. Now as you guys, it is already the next day and we have arrived to my parents' home in Valad of Stani, which is a town about an hour drive away from Bushten. Uh, but yesterday was really incredible. The views from the trail were so amazing, so nice of the mountains. But honestly guys, the trail itself, we underestimated it. Um, it was harder than we thought and make sure you don't underestimate it. Um, like like we did make sure you get gloves make sure you get good equipment good shoes and be ready to have parts where you only hold the chains and walk on the rock itself no path at all that's going to be quite common on the jp mitch trail but with that being said guys we hope you enjoyed it make sure you stay tuned for the next one have a lovely one smash the like button subscribe and we'll see you in the next one Bye.